There's about five to eight million dogs and cats every year that go to kill shelters and it's not a pleasant experience. They're brought in there for all different reasons. Um, their life and existence is not good. Sometimes they sit in a cage for a period of time without even the cage being open. And it's just a very scary, bad thing for a dog or cat to have to go through. And in this day and age, we shouldn't be doing that anymore. It doesn't make any sense. I've been working with dogs for about 40 years and saving dogs for about 35 years and I think I've saved over 5,000 dogs. We at Famous Fido Rescue and Adoption Alliance save dogs that are in the euthanasia room. And when we get the dogs in, it's um, pretty incredible how depressed they are and they need a lot of love and affection, medical care, they need to get some stability, sometimes training. And then we try to match the right person up with the right dog so it's the perfect forever home. Over the summer, we've placed about 65 dogs into great families, perfect matched families for these individual dogs. And I'm very proud of that because I just don't find dogs homes. I find the dogs a home that fit with the person and the dog, that I know that they're going to be a forever home and they're not going to be getting rid of again. This year, we're going to try to save about 250 dogs' lives but we want to build an alliance with other people. We'd like to have a conference so we can sit down and talk to other like-minded people to come up with some answers on how to stop the killing and the no more homeless pet population in Chicago. How are these dogs and cats going to be cared for? What kind of foster programs? What can we um, get going so these animals don't have to die anymore? No more homeless, no kill Chicago is a big goal. We can really use your donations for helping our individual animals that we're saving from kill shelters in Chicago and Illinois and helping build our alliance so we can help other groups take care of some of their dogs and their needs because there's a lot of dogs that are being unattended because people don't have the money. And with your money, we can help a lot of dogs and cats. I mean, even from the smallest things like bowls and blankets and towels and grooming essentials and toys and treats and food, but then some of them have medical problems from arthritis to um, cherry eye to ear infections to whatever their medical needs might be. Um, so it can cost per month $400 a dog. And we're taking in about eight dogs now a week and you can't say no. Um, we really need those donations for those dogs to be taken care of and we can't do it without your help. There are special, special individual souls and I just could not see this happening to dogs and cats anymore. To be euthanized, if it was your life, it would not be taken so casually as to just put a needle or gas a dog. So that's what I'm looking for, people who will donate, people who will get involved. Everyone says, what can I do? I don't want to see it, I don't want to look at it. We have to look at it, but we can look at it in different ways. And everything that comes across our path, we have to do something about it. We just can't ignore it anymore.